Hello, a few people asked me to make a video about uh, what kind of equipment I use, what's the setup, what, the, what are the bonuses, you know, the Guardian Spirits and so on. So the first thing I want to show is the Guardian Spirits. The main Guardian Spirit I use is Nekomara because it gives you the 18% throw weapon damage. Well, the description does not always say what it is in the game. For example, it says may increase the damage caused by throw weapons. But it doesn't, well, the thing is, it does It does not may increase, but it increases the damage. So the more you have throw weapon damage stats on your equipment, for example, that I have on the, you know, the, the body, the, um, the legs and the foot and so on the more damage you will do. The second spirit I use, I chose Enku. Why? Because it has, well, if you go to the second guardian spirit, it gives you 7%, well, it, it adds a 7% of thrust damage. Well, it says increases damage of thrust attacks, and the thrust damage, you mean the thrust and attacks uh, affect your throwing weapon damage. Basically, it increases the kunai, the storm kunai, the shuriken, and so on. Also, in I'll take I'll talk about it later. It increases the stone damage. There are few more, um, I would say, variations you can use for the guardian spirit. F well, for for example, before I had the um, before I got the uh, DLC, I had the Ikomori. It gives the unlimited ninjutsu, attack from behind, and agility damage bonus, so it was pretty good. And the second I chose was Kayakuto. Oh, I don't know if it's the right way to say, but... Because it was giving me lots of ninjutsu power, and when you use it as a second guardian spirit, it gives you the... Uh, ninjutsu damage life train. Not the best thing, but still okay. Well, then I made some tests, and apparently the best thing, you know, the best bonus for throwing weapon damage that the uh, Guardian Spirit can give you is the throw weapon damage itself. <laughs> what a surprise. So basically, I did some tests, and the the only thing that's better than the Nekomara is Bishida Centipede. Because this... this Last bonus, it eliminates the damage bonus when you attack an enemy from behind and in return increase your close combat damage. Basically, you will do the same damage from behind as you would do in front. Well, that that's not a good thing, but it gives you a bonus, I would say a few hundred, a few hundred dam, a few hundred um, damages. So, I don't know. I, I tried it. Yes, it, do, it does more damage by like 200. Uh, points, but it, it does not worth it because attack from behind is really what makes the uh, you know what ninja and jitsu build special. And that's basically uh, what I have for the that's it for the um, guardian spears. Now, if we go to skills, there's one specific, there's two actual specific skills. Maybe there are a few more, but I forgot. If, uh, and if someone can tell me in the comments down below that what may increase the throw weapon damage that would be nice first of all the first skill is located under the spear a tap it's called third rule of frosting it increases damage of frost attacks by three oh, let's go back three six and three percent so it's nine percent well we talked about like Enko as the second guardian spirit increases your thrust in damage so this will increase the throw weapon damage as well the second probably the, imp the most important um, skill for the throw weapon damage is the oh it's Omnia my bad this one Nin it's called concealment increases damage dealt by the long range weapons or prone items this this greatly increases your throw weapon damage. So, I think that's all for the skills. Now let's go over to equipment. So, if we were to talk about the equipment, the 
first thing I want to point out is there are lots of different damage bonuses you can get from uh, from, from weapons. Now, before f before I forget, I see I saw some spears you know on YouTube that people use. Um, the spear some spears does frost damage. Oh, th there's a thrust damage bonus. It's like 10% or 12%. I haven't seen it personally, but I know it exists. And if I'll get the hands on one of it, I'll make a video. So, the first Kusai Gamma I have is Sayarashi. Basically, why would I use this weapon? Well, two actually reasons. First of all, it's... Um, first reason is that my equipment weight is 6.5 out of 55 so my build is based on the lightness so the lighter equipment I have the more damage I do that's why there's agility damage bonus well there are different damage bonuses like I said an ninjutsu damage bonus familiarity damage bonus equipment weight damage bonus lots of them I can even see I want to actually show some of it um no i don't see it right in here well there are different types of damage bonuses but if you're making a build that's based on lightness this is the best one this is the best damage bonus you can get i made some tests with the um with the ninjutsu damage bonus so I tested agility damage bonus AA and ninjutsu damage bonus AA. The agility does more damage by a few hundreds. I would say it's from 400 to 500 more points of damage, of course. That is why I use, uh, you know, basically if I, f if I see a weapon with the agility damage bonus, I use it. Um, the other, well, the second thing. I want to show is it attack from behind plus 23 percent as I said in the uh, you know the guardian spirits the attack from behind is really what makes it special and if you combine the um, what you have here and the guardian spirit in the bat Aikomori it gives you what 50 percent more damage from behind so basically if I flank someone, uh, an enemy, for example a boss, maybe a giant toad or the hundred eyes, and I cast a weakness on it, I will do about 30 to 40 thousand damage to them, which is very good. All the other abilities I have is just change to attack dexterity, it does not increase your throwing weapon damage. I test it so it does not matter what it says, if it says even AA, it does not effect throw weapon damage the same thing goes with the uh, close combat and all that stuff next one I use is Aniki Baku Sayagama well basically it's the only equip uh, it's the only piece from head of a uh, Ika Ninja I use just because when I use well when I'm finished using the uh, uh, Guardian Spirit I get 52% uh, of my ninjutsu items restored which is really good and because I don't have that much, um, I mean that many skills that say uh, unlimited ninjutsu, that's really that's really helpful. The other thing I found a few days ago was the bow. And the bow gave me uh, some interesting stuff about how throw weapon damage works and the range weapon damage. Well, you can see that they're in skills down the bottom well, and you choose like a uh, different weapons, for example, you, which is spear or Kusoyo gamma, and you go down. There's a three green skills. One of one of them says melee weapon attack. The other says ranged weapon attack, and the third says barehanded attack. Well, I tested all of them. Well, of course, the melee weapon attack and the barehand attack does not increase your throw weapon damage, but also ranged weapon attack does not increase your throw weapon damage. Okay, you know, fine, maybe it's just the hand cannons, the bows, and the rifles, but when you have Pierce Guard ranged attack on the bow or any ranged weapon, it says inflict some damage wha even when an enemy guards against a ranged attack. It does affect Kunai and other throwing weapon damage. 
I test it, it does the damage. If you cast, for example, in Marubashi or whatever that's mission called, when you have to fight all the teachers with a different weapon, if you cast a weakness they and they guard against your ninjutsu attacks, the single kunai from my build does about 3000 damage when they guard in. I do not know how this bonus works because it's this ranged attack. But okay. Well, of course I have the um I got the unlimited arrows. It it does not touch the uh, throw up and damage, but it's it's a pretty good stuff because basically I do a lot of damage with the bow. And there's um there's one grace that I want to show. Uh, I had a previous build. It was based on stones. It was pretty nice build. I was making about from 20 to 30, maybe in 40,000 damage from a single stone. But the problem is that even when you have the uh, bonuses on the gloves, such as key damage from stones, you know, damage uh, from stones 999, and unlimited stones 50%, and you have damage from stones 5,000 here, the animation itself of the throwing uh, stones is so slow that basically the enemies, even the like mostly the bosses, can just like screw you over, and that's it. So, uh, well, the grace, the the second weapon I have is the um, hand cannon. Well, uh, there comes uh, here comes the um, the grace that I use. You know, basically the build. Is the Aminozumos Grace, if I say it right. Well, the last thing, it, the bonus, uh, basically why I have it, it increases damage in proportion to how like your equipment is. Triple A. I test it. It does about, I would say five from five to six hundred points of damage, which is pretty good. And that is the best uh, Grace or even build to use. Now let's talk about the um, body equipment. First I have is the headgear. The headgear does throw weapon damage x2. It doubles the damage you cause uh, by the throw damage by the throw throw weapons. Now there is no such headgear that gives you this special effect. The only way to get this special effect is the through the soul matching uh, with the glows. So what you need is take the base equipment, I'll show, cell match, armor, for example I want on this headgear I want to throw up and damage, I choose as the base, I choose my headgear as the, um, the one I use right now, I choose it as material and there it is, it inherits this special effect. So this this is how you get it from the uh, from the gloves because all the throw weapon damage bonuses you can only obtain through the gloves. Now let's um, yes let's uh, look at a few more bonuses. The ninjutsu power it basically does not affect you because it's so low and so on. The other thing that you may use uh, because you have the um, agility. Yeah, agility, agility, I don't know how it's properly called, you know, English, my second language and so on. Um, you can get the weight reduction. It reduces your um, equipment weight and thus increases your damage, which is always good. The second is the um, body. Well, it's called joy. Well, uh, the thing, I, the bonus I have here is the throw weapon damage. Not the double, but just throw weapon damage. Basically, it combines with the throw weapon damage x2. So if you have double, uh, you have a hundred percent double damage. Let's say you do ten thousand, and then you add an equipment that has throw weapon damage bonus, just the throw damage. You know, it decreases. Then you will get um, you get combined damage. For example, you get twelve k. Not 10k with the just the double damage, but you get 12k with the throw weapon damage. So it's all always um, it's always good to have this special effect as well. The other one I have the weight reduction as well. 
to increase the damage by a few more percent then I have unlimited ninjutsu which is always a good choice and basically the other stuff does not really affect the uh, drop and damage the other one is the, the most problematic thing I have had is the clothes I always have the problem with the clothes because they're different types of bonuses that it will give you for the ninjutsu so um, first of all the shuriken and kunai damage now um, there's a throw weapon x2 damage bonus there's a throw weapon damage bonus itself and there's a shuriken and kunai damage well throw weapon damage does more damage than the shuriken and kunai damage so that's very uh, important thing to know now the other one I have increased attack for the Kasaryugama I just put it there because there was nothing else to put also I wanted to put it uh, instead of increase attack and defense with Kasaryugama I wanted to put the throw weapon damage but it does not uh, combine with the throw weapon damage x2 so basically when you are trying to make perfect close you know you want maybe shuriken and kunai damage you want the throw weapon damage bones you want the throw weapon damage x2 then other other stuff you know there's there's lots of different bonuses for the glows you cannot there's this well simply the game says there are different types of special effects that cannot be combined and the throw weapon damage x2 and the regular throw and damage does not combine oh it does not combine in the one equipment so you cannot put the throw weapon damage uh, to the special uh, specific equipment when you already have the throw weapon damage six two. So that that's that's really confusing, and I did not know that. So the other stuff I have unlimited ninjutsu, and the last one I have the blinded, inflicts the specific status alignment. Alignment. I'm sorry. When you hit an enemy with the ninjutsu item, well. Like I said, there are tons of different ninjutsu item hits bonuses. There's um, reduced enemy movement, there's a blinded, there's a lowered enemy defense, lowered enemy, enemy atta attack. Two most important things that um, you will need for the throw weapon damage is first, blinded ninjutsu item hits. Basically, the enemy uh, is not locked on you and most of the times he cannot hit you for example if it's the uh, you know if it's the fox or some kind of enemy with the ranged weapon it will miss you even though if they aiming at you they will shoot a different direction which is which is good which is good the other one is probably more important than the blinded as the damage from ninjutsu items I would say plus 15 it could be plus 14 plus 16 percent when you full life this is really good but it only works when you have a full um, life for example if you have 5,000 life um, you know and you do like 15 more 15 percent more damage from that bonus but if you have 4999 that's it the bonus does not work it only works on the full health so it's a little bit tricky and for that one if you have uh, that bonus i would suggest put on the headgear put the thing um i will show you bonus for absorbing Amrita so basically each time you get Amrita you get also recovery uh, it doesn't like, give you it doesn't give you a lot of um, health but it can always help you get to the full life for example if you fall from a cliff somewhere where it takes like 30 or 40 damage you know it's 30 or 40 damage what is it nothing but those 30 or 40 damage take away your bonus your uh, ninjutsu damage bonus that, that's that's always a good thing to have now let's move next to the um you know the legs i call it well hakana hakama how it says here i have throw weapon damage you know as usual just increases weight reduction bonus for status alignment uh booster meter gauge that's the, you know uh, my um, my build is, uh, specifies on the throw weapon damage and some of the um, guardian spirits 
so I, I always need that uh, guardian spear to be ready so I can use it and when I finish using it I get my uh, ninja items back so I always need uh, the guardian spirit the last one is the running speed and now we move to the foot here I have throw up and damage x2 and the run spin at uh, running speed and so on now I use uh, I have a few actually I have three accessory first one I use when I want to farm uh, maybe a different equipment maybe a different uh, build you know maybe a different ethereal stuff that is why I found this ethereal item drop rate AA minus it gives you a massive boost to luck well, well not to luck but um, the way uh, to get the if reveal items. The next what I have is the fan. It gives me throw open damage x2. And with this fan I use Yasakani Magamata that gives me the set bonus requirement down minus one which gives me the right to use one of the head of the Iga clan uh, equipment to get the bonus from the uh, retrieving uh, recover and just items when I finish using the living weapon so it's really good stuff and it also uh, you know I was lucky to get it I get the throw weapon damage x2 and I also get the throw weapon key damage well the key damage if it, um, it damages the key of the enemy so well it does not affect it that much but it, it's always a habit now when we go to status special effects we can find this it's in the middle throw weapon damage x2 101 percent so i will always uh, do double damage from my throw weapon damage i mean throw weapon uh, equipment the other one I have is the throw up and damage plus 62% which is good and like the less uh, less kind of matter bonuses like shuriken and kunai damage or the unlimited ninjutsu only 10% so it's nothing I had a build before when I had uh, about 60 or 70% unlimited uh, ninjutsu but you know I I liked I like I was liking damage so I couldn't kill any bosses I met in the abyss because I had a really low damage and that's why uh, that's when I decided to make a build not for the uh, quantity but a quality uh, that means I wanted to increase my damage not the amount of ninjutsu I will have so for the uh, shortcuts I have the elixir or the spectral uh, spectral whatever it's called in abyss I forgot the other important thing I have is the Flame Dragon Scroll. Now, this scroll you can only get if you beat uh, Jin Hayabusa, I don't know, I would say 20 to 30 times, you know, he drops this, the text of it. It's a ninjutsu fireball that he has. Um, because of this fireball, now I can easily kill Date Masamune, if, if I say his name right. Um, what it what it does is it shoots the fireball, and after the enemy is hit with the fireball, the enemy has the fire effect, and it's really good when uh, you fight in like bosses that has uh, water, for example, maybe Umibozu or uh, Date. Next, I have the storm kunai, the regular kunai. I do not use the shuriken because it does such a uh, low damage. Next, I have the extraction talisman. So I can get the Amrita, so I will always um, absorb Amrita to have my spirit ready when I don't have the uh, the throw uh, throwing stuff, you know, the throwing uh, kunai and, and the storm kunai. The sloth, of course, the weakness, pleats talisman. It 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 boosts your Amrita gauge, which is really good. For, like I said, for example, you defeat a small skeleton, you know, the regular skeleton, and with the extraction and the pleats talisman, you already have the guardian spirit, which is really good. Then I have the quick change scroll. It's really, really important to have a quick change scroll. It does not matter what kind of build you have, you need to have it. Because 
um, it survives the, the the enemy attack basically if you get one hit or something you just fall through the sky again and you have a second chance of, chance of fighting and you can reuse the scroll which is really really important especially when you're fighting the bosses you know when you don't know what the boss is gonna do he, he he grapples you and you die then you respawn the next second and then you know you know it just gives you a second chance the moment talisman I barely use it the fire shirt can I use mostly when I have to fight Date Masamune or the Omibozos and other like uh, water stuff the catwalk scroll I use when I try to sneak through the um, areas I don't want to fight mm, enemies in or maybe I just wanna you know go quick through the level you know just maybe get the reward like in the twilight missions and stuff and the tiger running scroll is really good uh, when you fight in the abyss uh, because uh, it increases your running speed and um, you know the enemies cannot grapple you or shoot you so it's pretty pretty good to circle around the enemies and shoot them in the back Luck bring it house man oh I barely use it but you know when I'm trying to farm something and increases your luck this sp small spirit stone when you use it uh, it's, it says it gives you 100 amrita I only use it when I need the guardian spirit for example I need to find a ball I need to fight a boss and I don't have any um, you know the guardian spirit is not ready so when you use it it gives me enough amrita to get the guardian spirit ready I mostly use it when I try to fight a boss. The sap scroll uh, is combined with the catwalk scroll to, you know, to quickly pass through the uh, levels. It's so powerful that even like really, really close, like toe to toe, the yokai enemies cannot detect you. Of course, there are few, uh, there are few exceptions for like a fox. You know, the the white fox. It can detect you like at the pretty medium range. Now let's take a look at the stats that I have. First one is dexterity. It increases the ninjutsu items. It affects the capacity of ninjutsu and so on. Basically when you uh, upgrade dexterity, it increases your ninjutsu damage, which increases your um, throw weapon damage, which is always good. And with dexterity, I suggest using the skill. Both should be maximized to 200 to get the maximum bonus from the throw weapon damage and the uh, for example the dual swords the, um, the guns or the Kusayugama in dexterity uh, so you can get the maximum damage bonus from it I have a hundred magic a hundred spirit just because I love the using the spirit and I need to have all the ninja items recovered when I finish using the guardian spirit and then I have stamina 100 because it increases the equipment weight. Now, um, if you decide to go over um, 100, you know, in stamina, if you go to 200, it does not increase anymore after you reach 100. So basically, when you have a high level, you can use a book of recommendation and you can check if the specific stat gives still gives you the same bonus that it used to get for example the spirit bonus uh, I mean the spirit stat gives you the versus your cry realm it increases your life it increases your first melee weapon and it also increases the uh, guardian spirit bound and you know the durability of the guardian spirit and the uh, duration well after you after you reach a hundred points on the spirit uh, after a hundred it does not increase basically any of it i i put 200 points in the spirit and the only thing it was increasing maybe um in a f you know in a 150 when i reached 150 and increased my life and the versus yoko realm but at the at the 200 it does not affect the guardian spirit itself so it's useless the same thing goes with the basically with the other stats well the dexterity and skill still provide you the bonus that they used to provide before the before the 100 points that you spend on it but not that much anymore the stamina will always provide you the equipment weight reduction i mean it 
it it will just increase your equipment weights in general. Uh, so I suggest just put it to a hundred, and after a hundred, it still increases a little bit, but it's not worth it. It's not worth spending the points on it. Now uh, we go to additional stats, and I have the. Uh, Ninja power 727 and ninja capacity 51, and this is the higher ninja capacity you can get. And here I have the Guardian Spirit Bone, it's 2880, which is really good because basically, um, when I get hit by I say a boss two or three times, I still have my Guardian Spirit, so it's always good. At the bottom, you get the additional stats when you reach the top level. You can, after reaching the top level, I will show in a shrine. Uh, start point, level up. After you reach uh, level 750, you get this. You get the additional uh, bonuses, so you can level up your even you even more. Well, they do not give that much of a boost, but you know, still worth. For example. Um, if you use t if you level up the attack focus level by, I would say five or ten times, it gives you plus one attack on the right side. So, uh, well, it's it's still a good thing, but it does not give you that much. Now, and the last thing I want to say is uh, the clan. The clan. You need to choose a specific clan you want to use. Well. There is a clan that you can use for the ninja to build, and I will show you which one. It's the one that the um, cross circles there is. It gives you the attack from behind by eight percent, and there's a um, there's one interesting thing. Um, the longer you stay in a clan without leaving it, um, you know the more the more bonuses it will give you. Um, to show it, uh, well, for example, I have the uh, Date clan because it gives me durability of living weapons and living weapon duration. I've been in the clan for 24 days, and just look how much how much of a bonus it gives me. You know how much of the um, bonus for staying in this clan for that long gives me 48 um, 48 points for durability and 3.2 second. Uh, seconds of fleeing weapon duration which is really good and I use it um, this is the most suitable clan for me for my build maybe you want to you choose a different one but this one is the best one I have so that's it now to summarize everything I've said about the belt and equipment I use I'll go to my Bush mission and just show what I have I use Extraction please, quick chain scroll, lock bringer for fun, and the tiger running speed. So we use sloth, weakness, and here you go. Like I said, the bow gives me the bonus uh pierce guard from ranged weapons. Even if the enemy blocks everything I have, I still do damage. Now the same thing goes with the uh, Guardian Spirit. He's blocking, but I still do was about thousand from a thousand to eight hundred damage. And when I finish using, I get my ninja to items back. Now let's use the fire scroll. Six thousand, five thousand, and now he has the uh, fire damage all the time. I use my kunai. Let's kill him. And now he's dead. Now. The bow. It it does not uh, it does not do that much damage but it's still pretty good. Especially from the enemies that does not block your damage, your attacks. Nine thousand, a thousand from blocking, two thousand, eighteen thousand from behind. That's good. 
Another sloth, another weakness. Let's do fire sure again now. Hey, he blocked everything. Okay, let's go back to the fire skull. Basically, it's the ultimate weapon to defeat uh, revenants and the human bosses because they they only block you. And because even if they block you, you still get the damage through their uh, guard. And also, when it reaches the limits, it gives them the uh, fire damage. Okay, Hanzo. I'm not using any slow for weakness on him. It's just pure damage. And I have back my uh, ninja items. Okay, let's kill this guy without any uh, any uh, on me or magics. That's the quick change scroll right here. It gives you a second try. Now the fire shaken. Now let's take another quick change scroll just in case. And he's done. That's basically what what the uh, what I use. It's a lot easier when you have the yokai enemies that does not block your attacks, and you can just flank them as long as it's uh, you know a huge boss like on Ryaki or the hundred eyes. So that's it.